Good evening. My journey addressing the Suffolk City School Board started over two years ago during the transgender policy and learning that there was a practice in place which was followed by policy. Before this August, I had attended a total of five board meetings and requested to speak at four of them. Three out of the five meetings I was met with disrespect, humiliated, kicked out, and or escorted out. It seems to be the standard of this board that if you don't like what you are hearing, you kick us out. Then make a new rule. In fact, look at the agenda. It will show that the change regarding prayer is happening, coincidentally, right after I was shut down. See, in August, I was led by the Holy Spirit to pray for our children, schools, and this board. The chair and attorney Waller shut me down. But God moved when Miss Dacia Smith jumped up and said, Not today, Satan, and began praying the Lord's Prayer. All I could do is pray with her. After that meeting, my attorney, Mr. Hetzler, with the Foundy Freedom Law Firm, reached out to Attorney Waller, who, by the way, was directed, directing the chair's action. The outcome, I was granted a chance to pray tonight in lieu of suing the school board. This board does not get to tell me when or how to pray. You were wrong by shutting me down. You know it, I know it, and now everyone will know it. With the vote on the transgender policy tonight, I'll leave you with this, Matthew 18:6. But whosoever causes one of these little ones who trust in me to stumble, it will be better for him to have a heavy millstone hung around his neck and to be sunk in the depth and to be sunk in the depth of the sea. Heavenly Father, we ask that you would grant our school board wisdom as they seek to shape our laws in rapidly shifting and increasing polarized topic. We pray for your mercy on our nation. Please help our leaders to issue good guidance particularly regarding education in schools. And may they be courageous in pursuing what is right and just, rather than caving into the demands of ideological pressure groups. Please particularly help them to protect parental rights in knowing what their children are being taught and how they are presenting themselves within school. In your precious name we pray, amen. amen. Next speaker.